Hey everybody, it's James with Cold School, and I was just gonna, I wrote a list of uh, the parts and the cost, and uh, you can actually trim the cost. Uh, I'll just run through real quick uh, some of the prices, and then you can decide if you want to build one like this, you can eliminate some of the cost. So let's just start with the cooler. This is a 9-quart Igloo cooler. It's $10.00. The Atwood 3-inch fan is, um, they were $25. I looked on Amazon today, they're $30. Uh, the 3-inch PVC uh, cap with the stainless steel screen is about $10. Um, the PVC 3-inch elbow is uh, about 3 or $4.00. Um, let's see what else. Uh, the radiators, each one is about $17. You can get them for probably 10 or 12. These have three eighths, these have 18 pipes in them, which is the, uh, the, uh, tube that runs horizontal or vertically that way. Uh, these are three eighths inch. Uh, the other ones are five sixteenths, probably a little cheaper. Um, so that's your biggest cost is the cooler, the radiators, the fan, and then the PVC elbow. That's not the biggest cost, but those are your basic cost. So if you look at the three radiators, that's uh, $51 at about 17 something a piece or 17 a piece and then 30 for the fan, and then uh, 10 for the cooler, and maybe, let's just say, $3 for the uh, PVC elbow. And uh, that's without the tubing and without cutting. You know, I use PVC uh, drain pipe for this. It's actually like a sewer line. It's real thin instead of thick. But so 10 for this, 10 plus 30 is 40, plus the radiators is uh, 51, so you're at $91, and then the, this is uh, probably, say, 5 bucks. So you're looking at at least $95 just for that. That's not with some, uh, like Lowe's, you can buy tubing by the foot. Uh, some of them you have to buy a whole roll. Uh, the PVC, uh, CPVC caps you can get at Lowe's. One thing I didn't mention, if you do it, if you do this design and you, you don't have to use the, uh, barbed bulkheads that go through here. So two of those are like seven bucks. So, um, so for probably about a hundred bucks you could put one together i know that sounds expensive uh i measured the uh square i mean the surface space of that of the uh, usable radiator on the heater core versus three of these minus the corners and there's probably tw uh, 12 to 15 more cubic inches surface space by using three of these and they're about the same cost so that's about $45 and these are 51 so if you don't want to build a uh, vertical unit like you've seen in my other videos with the fan and then this connected on there if you like this look better then uh, it's about at least a hundred bucks minus the the uh, the pretty stuff without a fan guard you know keeping fingers from getting in there pets from reaching in there so that's about it uh that's just a real quick video on some of the prices uh, i'll try to find and i say try to find i'll try to add the links to uh, some of these parts and uh so that's about it i just wanted to uh, let you know it's not a 20 dollar build it is a pretty expensive build but it's something that'll last and you can carry and keep and it's uh cosmetically appealing i guess so uh i'll do a build video soon on how i did this because there's a lot of tools needed to do this 
uh, like just for instance, uh, drilling inside of there, inside of here, you have to have a 90 degree drill a attachment to do that. And it's, you know, stuff like that. And then like a four and a quarter inch hole saw for this to drill through. You can use a knife and do different stuff. So, so about a hundred bucks, easy to do this. So I don't want that to, to discourage anybody, but that's, you know, what you're looking at. So y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.